Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an overview of some brand new palettes from Linda Hallberg, aka my favorite makeup artist. If you've never heard of her, are you living under a rock? <laughs> I love her so much. You need to check her out. She does some really wearable looks as well as some just extreme amazing artistry that I just I cannot get enough of. Ever since I got into makeup, I was really all about her love her to death. She has come out with a bigger palette in the past as well as brushes. She just launched her makeup line. I believe it was last year and I've wanted to get stuff. I just haven't done it and these palettes put me over the edge. So I got two of her new palettes and a pack of crayons because there was one in there that I was just like I was suspicious about. I'll get into it though. These are the two new palettes. This one right here is the Metallic Mysteries. This is what is on my eyes right now. I use this one. If you want to just skip to the tutorial, this is when it starts. But if you open her up, there is a nice mirror inside. It's cardboard packaging and then these four shades. Oh, this right here is like the most perfect gold like white gold i don't know i love this shade right here but we have dead star bang gamma and collision collision has a little bit of sparkle in there so it's like all over my palette what i'm going to do is show you guys the shades over top of my tattoo so you can see what it looks like with a more of like a dark background as well as on my daughter so that you guys can see them both and then we have her Enchanted Secrets palette. This is the duochrome. So the last one was metallic. This one is duochrome. Both of them you can use wet or dry. You can actually use them all over the face. I'm going to read some stuff from her website. But in here we have Moonwake, Ethereal, Zephyr, and Orphic. Again, swatches on my tattoo and swatches on my daughter. And then she also had these crayons on her website, which are, you know, just like liners, but I think she calls them crayons because you can use them everywhere. I saw this one shade, and if you guys know, MAC Rich Ground is my baby. It's a gel liner. Let me see if I can find it. It's this guy right here. As you can see, it's well loved. <laughs> but they got rid of this, and I've been trying to find a dupe with no luck at all. Cannot find anything that even remotely resembles it because it's it has a little bit of red to it, but it also has a metallic finish. It's just beautiful. It's one of my favorite liners. So I saw this shade right here, and I was like, ooh, I just, I had this gut feeling that it was going to be the dupe I've been looking for, and it is. I'm going to go ahead and show you this one against Rich Ground. Rich Ground is the first shade in this picture, and then Whipple Flash is the second one in the picture. And you can see they are almost exact. This is the closest almost perfect dupe I have found and you can get it on her website. You can pick up the crayons individually, but I got these and it is part of the rustic kit and it comes in here. It's cheaper that way and I really wanted to try them out because you can use them all over your face. You can even use them on your lips. So that brings me to her website. Let me get into this. So her palettes are multifunctional. They use ingredients that are safe for all over face use. We like to refer to them as colors because that is the way we'd like for you to think of them. You can use them for sculpting your face, contour, brows, eyeshadows, highlighters, lips, eyeliners, everything. So the palettes you can use everywhere and it's the same for their crayons which is really really nice. They are vegan and cruelty free. All the items I got, I got off the LH Cosmetics website. I'll leave it down below. Both of the palettes were $59 and then the crayon kit was $50. And then it's free shipping if you spend, I think it was $100, and it's international, which I was so appreciative for because I had to have these. Now, when I first saw these, I'm going to tell you, I immediately thought this might be good for you guys who maybe want, oh, I don't know, a Pat McGrath palette <laughs> for those beautiful shades in there. Let me open up some of these. I have referred to these shades down at the bottom. They're always like the last four in the palette as special shades. And these here really mimic some of the textures even of the metallics. So if you can see, 
Like this almost has like a little bit of a chunkiness to it. And so does the metallic palette, especially this shade right here. When I felt that shade, I immediately thought of the Pat McGrath formula. Both that light gold in that palette and then this darker gold in here, they have the same kind of texture and they both have a little bit of fallout. Using it wet and with a stiffer brush definitely helps the situation. So if you really want that texture and that shine all of that from the Pat McGrath palettes, but you don't want to spend $125, even though I 100% think that they are worth it, I love them, I would suggest grabbing this. $59, you're going to get that same kind of texture and intensity, but without having to spend that much money. I definitely love this palette right here. It's my favorite of the two. This one, on the other hand, it has some of the same kind of colors, like especially Zephyr. It's like that pinky, uh, almost peachy gold, and it has a really nice shift to it. I don't remember which palette it is in that, but this formula is smoother. So wet or dry, but it's smoother. If you don't like a lot of texture, oops, <laughs> if you don't like a lot of texture on your lids, I definitely think the duochrome is going to be better for you, but I love them both. I definitely say get your hands on these. The crayons I think are amazing. I cannot wait to get more use out of these. I put these on my hands to swatch them. Oh my god, it did not want to come off. I was like scrubbing them. I am not worried about this liner going anywhere anytime soon. I will honestly probably pick up another pack because these are really, really great. All right, I'm going to quit my jabbering and we're going to go ahead and get into this eye look. I'm going to use MAC Arena on the crease area just so that I have something to blend out the really metallic shades. And I'm using a Wayne Goss number 16. I love this one because it's huge and fluffy. I'm just working this all over. I'm building it up just a little bit just because I know how dark that metallic is. So I want to still be able to see this kind of around the edges. Wayne Goss number 20, and I'm going to run that same shade right underneath my lower lash line. I'm taking Gamma Dry initially, and this I'm putting it into the crease with the Goss number 19. I'm doing this first so that I can have a nice blended look for the outcome. Go back in with a number 16 and just blend around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and run that along the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going in with that shade Wet on a MAC 217, and I'm going to pretty much put this all over the lid. I'm going to build it up just a little bit. If you used a flat brush, this would definitely be more intense right off the bat, but I'm just building it because I want to be able to blend at the same time of putting it on. And then I purposely left like this little inner corner here blank. Again, taking that shade wet underneath this lower lash line. Taking Collision, and I'm using this wet on a MAC 221, and that is going to go on the inter, inter, <laughs> inner half of the eye. I'm making sure to get it on the inner corner and kind of like this lower lash line right here. This shade does have a bit more fallout than the last shade, which I don't really think I got any fallout then slowly tapping over the edges to merge those together. Now I'm gonna take Bang on a MAC 283 and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. This is dry. I'm also gonna take a hint of that and pop it on the inner corner. All right, I'm taking her crayon in Whipple Flash and I'm running this along the, low, the top lashes. <laughs> Gonna blend that out a bit with my MAC 219. Same pencil, I'm gonna put it in my inner rim. And I'm also gonna blend a little bit of this underneath my lower lash line. 219 to blend that out, and then I'm gonna put on mascara and lashes. 
All right, to finish off the eye, I added a little bit more of Whipple Flash to the top lash line. I realized once I got closer that I wanted it to intensify it a little bit. When the mirror is too far away, I can't see. I can't see anything. But then I also added on these lashes, which, um, yeah, these are probably my favorite lashes I've ever put on. These are from Kiss. It's the True Volume. They're like the Demi Wispies, kind of like on the front, and then they kind of flare out on the edge. And these are ritzy in natural black. For my lips, I use number 614 in the Dior Liquid Lipstick, and then everything else on my face will be listed down below as always. Let me know what you guys think about these palettes if you plan on picking them up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.